everybody and welcome to another video I had a while back uh, doing benchmarks I was waiting for Nvidia to finish the um, you see the 580 driver I'm not even using the latest 580 driver I'm still in the beta one there I'll wait until Ubuntu pushes the the last 580 I know there's another 580 something that's gonna come up in the next uh, couple of months to fix some of the pending things uh, on the NVIDIA forums for the 580 that we're mentioning, okay? But I'm back with this video. I'm back with this specific map on Last of Us Part 2. On my previous benchmark video, I mentioned everything that was happening in 2024 and 2025 about NVIDIA and Proton and also talking about the actual game that they didn't update that created an issue. Let's put it like that with the FPS. But basically, from now on, basically the only thing that I could do is compare the previous FPS value that we had, which was at this stage was 74 FPS. Uh, right now we have an 80 something, and the best FPS that I was getting before was 85, 80 something on that previous video. We're talking about three months ago, something like that. So again, let me just show you. I'll always be using 4K, okay, for any, just to make future videos shorter. I'll try to avoid DLSS. I'll try to avoid, I'll try to avoid any frame generation kind of thing. So you can actually see the raw performance, not the diluted line version of FPS. We can put that as a fun experiment, but I want people to actually be, see the real performance of of a 5090, for example, in this case. So we're using um, a 4K. Remember to to test. This. Remember to subscribe and like and whatever. Leave a comment. I don't know what people say. Uh, remember to test this video against a Windows video so you can see the difference in in FPS. Assuming they have everything in full. Assuming they're not using DLSS. Assuming they're not using frame generation. Obviously. Um, if we go here, you can see everything is at max, okay, super max, except for stuff like this. Like, uh, let's just enable that crap and let's enable this one, okay. Now everything is at max. Uh, let me see if I miss. I, the only thing that I didn't put is a camera check because I don't want to throw up and the other ones, they just make me dizzy. Uh, but but we're using the raw uh, exclusive full screen, 4K full, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that you can see here. No upscaling or nothing. So with that said, let's refresh the FPS. So we got a fresh new FPS there. Okay, so it went up about 5, 6 FPS from the... 575 driver to the the 580 driver that's good that's good um let's walk with our little pony here i'm guessing it's gonna go up up okay i was gonna say 85 or something but now we're in 89 okay hey, see yeah it's more or less the same we're never gonna pass the 100 something it did go up okay I can I can see that difference we're talking 5 to 10 FPS more for the same areas the same test so that that's good news I'm guessing oh wow we're getting a hundred there Here we're getting 60 something, so it's still 5 to 10 FPS more. Okay, so I'm gonna pause, and basically, Last of Us is 5 to 10 FPS more compared to the previous 575 driver. Let's test another game. Okay, now we're in Hogwarts Legacy. I'm in the worst place that you can be for the FPS, which is the city. Um, and it gets worse on the, in the morning. So here we are in the morning, and you can see the FPS is around. Let me reset that, but it's basically around 50. 
40, 50. So compared to the last time that I tested this, which is about three months ago, enough time to give NVIDIA to test things, you can see that it's the same. Nothing has changed. We're still around the 40s. Best case scenario when I get to, I don't know, some corners here, we get close to 50, but that's it. Look, even 30 something there. And I know you're gonna say about the usage, GPU usage. I know that's a that's a gaming thing there. Let me show you the settings. Again, we're trying to compare against Windows, okay? Not against between distros and stuff like that. We do get the same uh, performance if you go to Arch, and if you go to Garuda, if you go to any of the uh, Arch base. Open source base, Fedora base, whatever you want, Slack base, Gen 2 base, Gen 2, super beautiful. Uh, base ones, even Mint, you're gonna get the same, more or less the same performance because basically the I think the optimizations that Ubuntu was doing now they're everywhere. So we're gonna get very similar, very similar. Okay, only thing that you're saving yourself is quicker to install and set up and all that. But you can see that I'm using. Uh, 4k pure uh, I'm not using anything Nvidia related no upscaling mm, let me see what else I got that disabled by default and everything ultra oh right and ray tracing forgot about that and you can see there I get the really 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 sucky performance there and just in case you're wondering let me go to here to the you can see the reflection there yay and now if we just use if you're wondering about that on the 50 let's put that there upscaling let's use that one and let's use quality and just get out of there did i did i make a mistake no. Well, that sucked. Oh, right. Isn't this supposed? Well, DLSS is not giving us any benefit alone. You can see the FPS uh, in this game, of course. Um, and let's play around with the frame. Let's see if this works now, because it, before it was not doing anything with a reconstruction. So we're supposed to get around 80, 70 to 80. Okay, so we're getting above that. I'm basing it on the raw that we were getting, which is around 40. Okay. Let's now do three times, which is based on the raw. It should be around 120. Let's see what we get. A little bit over that. A 4K. And lastly, let's do the 4 here. Which would be, yeah, 160. And yeah, a little bit over that. Okay. So, anyway, this is a 5090 uh, using Intel um, 14900K or KS. I totally forgot. I would mind or recommend based on uh, th there's a follower here that leaves a lot of very useful comments called Steve. Steve from Overweight Linux User. So Steve left some uh, comment there about what happened to his CPU, Intel CPU. Horrible story. Let's just put it like that. Summary of that is go AMD. Like you're buying something, you save your money and go AMD. Uh, I regret having to be using for work related right now uh, the 14900k save for that puppy but I'm I'm like Steve scared that that thing is gonna burn die whatever um, I bought that because they were cheap at, at the moment that I bought them that's it but AMD is yeah AMD is the new king right now so if you're doing that beautiful over there and probably MD for video card too, just in case. 
But anyway, now you see the, the difference if we use um, frame generation, not even DLSS. What happens if I disable this and just leave this one like that? So it would be getting closer to what we expect, which is four times the raw one. Let's remove the four times there. And we get that crap. Okay, let's test one last game, and that's it. Okay, let's compare the the um, FPS configuration. You know, 4K, all that. No uh, frame generation, no DLSS, ray tracing on. What? Like I'm trying to generate the worst case scenario for the car. Again, 5082. So 5080 driver, uh, we can see that the FPS is a little bit better. Again, around what five FPS better, something like that. Let's get to the stairs, and then I'll remember better. Remember to subscribe, like, criticize, whatever you want to do. Ask for uh, future videos. And things like that. I got a couple ideas already from the comments that I had here. Okay, so we're getting 50. Yeah, 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 we're getting We're getting more FPS not a lot more just some and it's not better than Windows Let's Go up the stairs here and we'll see Yeah, around 5 FPS better. That's it. So between the 575 driver and the 580 driver We're about 5 FPS better. That's it my friend. That's all. Okay, I'll stop the video, but at least you got an idea of the um, the changes, the improvements. Let's put it like that. Okay. See you soon. Be hugs and think positive. How do I? Oops, I'm still recording, right? Crap. Run for it! <laughs>